Okay, we are at the bench today for the very first time. Today we are going to be painting a Mega Bass S crank. Uh, I've gone ahead and base coated it uh, in white. Um, used uh, the ink, acrylic ink in white. And our first color today is going to be orange. An FW acrylic. We will be painting this in a craw pattern. Alright, so we'll get started here. Now I'm just going to paint the belly and the sides a little bit. I don't want to get too high on the bait. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give it a heat set, put it on pause, and we'll be right back. Alright, we're going to go ahead and uh, give her a couple more coats here. Go ahead and give her another heat set and we'll be right back. Alright, one more coat. Give her one more heat set and we'll be right back. Alright, we've put our uh, coats on there, the orange. Now we're just going to clean the brush. Um, I'll show you how I like to clean my brush. I'll set uh, the bait out of the way so it's not going to get tipped over and scratched or anything. But uh, I have a little uh, eyedropper deal here. And I like to just put a little bit of water in there, use a little brush, just kind of clean it out. Dip it in some water. Pour it out into my spray can. And I'll keep doing that until basically it turns clear. Once I've got it to a certain point, I'll go ahead and clean it out with the napkin. And I'll do it a couple few more times till it gets nice and clear. I think this will be the last one. I always like to turn the air up when cleaning them out. Then I'll clean the tip. And I'll always shake it out so that way I get all the water out. Then I'll just take some rubbing alcohol, put it in the gun, spray it out. That that kind of keeps uh, and it helps from uh, tip dry. So it helps the tip from getting all clogged up as I'm spraying a little longer than having to clean off the tip of it. So, all right, we'll go ahead and uh, get our next color here. Our next color, we are gonna use a transparent color. We are gonna use this uh, Createx transparent leaf green. I've already gone and thinned it a 
whole bunch. We'll get her shooken up real good. Make sure it's tips cleaned out there. down to just below the lateral line. Make sure I got my air set right. I just use a little quick disconnect with the uh, air no uh, change there. set that. I put got a couple coats of that on there. I'll go ahead and put you on pause and we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. We'll put on a couple few more coats. Set and we'll be right back. All right, we'll go ahead and give her one more coat. set and we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. For our next color, we are going to put a Vallejo uh, color shifter. We are going to use the uh, bright gold brown. We're just going to spray that on the green in the middle on the bloodline there. So actually, so it doesn't come out brown, it, 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 depending on what you spray it over, really what you're getting is that green uh, metal flake color shift in it, and it will, it's kind of like a gold, you don't need a lot. Good. We'll go ahead and give that a heat set, and we'll be right back. All right. So now we've gone ahead and put in some uh, black. Uh, we are going to use the acrylic ink. All right. Now we're going to start out using a 
stencil that I've cut off. It is from Insane Custom Stencils. And I cut it out of it. Um, it is a crop pattern. And this is what we're going to use to do our scallops on the bait. Alright. So, I've kind of got it all cut out and set up to where I like it to set up against the bait. Now what we're going to do here, we're actually going to spray spray the uh, the black. We're going to spray the black a little thick. Alright. I've already gone ahead and set my set uh, air setting. But we're going to spray it kind of thick. You'll see why in a minute here. Alright. We'll just keep on going here. Bring that down a little bit. Maybe two. Yeah, we'll probably do two. Spin her around and we'll do the other side. And go ahead and make sure you wipe off your stencil real good. Otherwise you ruin your bait. And that's like the worst thing you can do. You can heat set them. Which we'll do. Set up here. Let's look where I came right on it. Go back a little bit. Go right there.
We'll go ahead and heat set that and we'll be right back. Alright, while we're here, we'll go ahead and uh, darken our eye in with the black. I like to go a little bit outside of it. Good, we'll go ahead and heat set it and be right back. All right, so for our next color, we're gonna do some highlights on the scallops, which is why we painted the black so thick. Um, we are gonna go back and use that acrylic ink and white and make our highlights. This part, you can, you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. Um, and you'll see in a second here, but I like to make them thick. I like it to actually show. You've got to be very careful when you're placing your stencil up there. Um, what I do is I just kind of fold it back a little bit so I can get, get past it. Once I get past it. Go ahead and go past it. That looks pretty cool. All right, we'll go the next color, next scallop, get that one done. Okay. And we'll just keep moving down. Last one on this side. Alright, now we'll go to the other side. Okay. Go ahead and heat set our stencil. I'll do the same thing on this side. Go ahead and bend that back a little bit. Problem getting that one. Just 
Alright. Alright, we'll go ahead and heat set that and we'll be right back. Alright, for our next color, we are going to go use a Createx uh, Iridescent Yellow. Alright, we are going to use that on the scallop again. Um, we are just going to go over the white. And we are going to cover that up just a little bit. I do want to see a little bit of that white after this is sprayed. Alright. I don't know if you can see that very well, but. Here. Flip it around. We'll do the same thing on the other side. I don't know if you notice, but I have got some of that uh, white and black on the uh, on the orange part, and that's okay. We'll we're, we'll go back and we'll we'll touch that up. We'll put some orange back in the gun and. We'll go ahead and touch that up and you won't notice it. set that and we'll be right back all right so for our next color we're going to use this uh, color that I mixed uh, and I used I used uh, transparent green transparent dark brown 
and I used the acrylic ink. Uh, very light on the black, maybe one drop or two, um, and easy on the brown. You will get it too dark. If that's what you're looking for, then go ahead. Oops. We'll go ahead and get this loaded up in the gun. Now we're just going to do a little bit on the, uh, just over the edge a little bit, okay? We want to leave, we're going to cover up some of those scallops, but we don't want to cover up too much. So we'll start over here. We'll just do a light. Over here. I'll go ahead and heat that side real quick. We'll probably go ahead and put two coats, three coats of this on there. Good. We'll do the other side. Oh, we're spitting a little bit of cleaner in there. All right. Go ahead and heat set that real quick. Get the back. Go ahead and heat set that. coat over the back. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get that heat set, clean the gun out, and uh, we'll be right back with the new color. Alright, we're back. So the last color, uh, we're just going to go with uh, the acrylic ink uh, in black. Uh, we're just going to do just the center of the back don't want to go over the sides too much so we're gonna to have to be very careful and have a steady hand obviously we're turning our air down Looks good to me. We'll go ahead and heat set that and we'll be right back. Alright, like I said, we're, we're going to go back and clean up that orange a little bit. So that's what we're going to do right now. I might take a couple coats. 
and a few heat sets, but we'll get her cleaned up. May not be perfect, but that's all right. You know what? 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 What lure? What uh, fish out there is? Crawdad, sorry. All right, we'll probably just give her one more coat. Call it good. One more. Okay. All right. Well, there it is. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and um, we'll put you on pause here and we'll go ahead and get her clear coat and we'll show you what it looks like with it all glossed out. We'll be right back. All right, I know I said we'd gloss it out, but we are back. Uh, we are going to go ahead and add some. Um, some dots to the scallops um, just a little bit we don't want to do a lot we don't want to we don't want to soak the bait uh, and overwhelm it so we're just going to do some small ones We've got a, a uh, stencil here from uh, Whitmore Farm and uh, it is the V10 scale uh, stencil but there are some dots on this side here and they're not like dots they're little uh, I don't know scaly looking almost um, so we're going to go ahead and use those and get those on there. Like I said, we don't want to use a lot. And we're just going to do a little bit. That's it. Okay, to the other side. Alright, and we'll go ahead and add a little bit of black to the eyes, and we'll be done. Now we'll go ahead and gloss it and we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, so now I keep saying we're gonna gloss it, but as my first time doing it, I forgot we're gonna go ahead and put some uh, eyes on there. 
And we're gonna go ahead and use these Dragon Eyes uh, by Surface Seducer. Um, I got these from the local Bass Pro. So we're going to go ahead and make sure they stay in there. So we're, we're, we're going to use some super glue. Here you want to use just a small dot. You don't want a whole bunch because then it gets all over and gets stuck to your finger. Let's grab our X-Acto knife here. There is a curvature to the eye. You can do them um, this way or this way. I personally like to do them this way. Almost so it looks like it's looking back at you. It matters, but that's what we're gonna do today. Get that on there. We'll go ahead and do the same to the other side. Alright, I know I said not to get a lot on there, and I went ahead and did. We'll just go ahead and dab some of this out of here. Won't hurt nothing. So now we're going to gloss it, show you what it looks like. Be right back. All right, we're back. She's all glossed up. We went ahead and used the uh, clear KBS clear diamond finish on this. All right. It is a non yellowing, and that's what you want. You don't want your baits to look yellow after you're all done painting it. And the sun's gotten to it. But here's what she looks like. So, alright guys. That's going to be the end of the video. Please like and subscribe. Tell me what you think. If you got any other baits you may want me to paint up and see, see what I can come up with. Please let me know in, in the comments below. Alright. We will, uh, we'll see you next time.